and welcome to Build and Deployed, a video series for cloud architects. My name is Avi Argov, and I'm a cloud architect at Oracle. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Andrew Blackman, the founder and CEO of EasyCloud. We're here to talk about how Andrew and his team helping companies to automate their account payable functions by running EasyCloud cloud native platform on OCI. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks, Avi. So, Andrew, can you walk us through the architecture of your production workload currently running on OCI? Um, so, our users start the EasyCloud process when suppliers email in invoices to the EasyCloud system. So, the emails are collected by a process called AWS SDS, and that invokes a function in AWS Lambda. The function also calls the Textract service to extract invoice data and store it. The invoice data is passed from AWS S3 bucket over to the uh, OCI object storage. Invoices that are captured with EasyCloud have their final resting place in the Oracle Content Management uh, Business Repository. As part of the EasyCloud workflow system, we're using the uh, Oracle Integration Cloud Service. Oracle Integration Cloud Service links the invoice image that's stored in the content management system to the backend ERP system with a variety of different workflows. Once the invoice image has been um, completed and validated, a link appears within the backend ERP system, uh, allowing a user to select the completed invoice image as well as see the data that's been extracted by the extraction process. So Andrew, I see that you're using a lot of cloud native solutions like Oracle Integration Cloud and Oracle Autonomous Database. Can you please tell us how those services help you operate and maintain your environment? We've uh, originally had EasyCloud running on a, um, a variety of different uh, VMs. We were running in 10 different VMs. Uh, but since then, we've moved to more of a serverless technology. Um, so kind of the reason we looked into serverless is we've been doing a lot of load testing and QA testing in our environment. And we're kind of maxing out around 10 simultaneous users um, with a, a reasonably large footprint of VMs in, in OCI. So we decided to evaluate moving to more serverless technologies. So when we have everything running on, on serverless, um, we're using Oracle Autonomous Database as the backend, and we're using the Oracle uh, API gateway um, for the services. Uh, we were able to reduce our costs quite significantly, as well as be able to scale up with uh, uh, the amount of users. We can now support over 50 simultaneous users, and the cost of the infrastructure has gone down significantly. Yeah, so I want to ask you about scaling up. Do you see onboarding new customers to your platform easier with OCI services? Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So definitely scaling up is definitely something that's going to be much easier running on OCI. So invoice processing is a task that it invokes a, a multitude of processes. As a customer scans and extracts more and more invoices, the workload increases and increases. Um, so using serverless technologies for EasyCloud is kind of like the natural evolution of, of EasyCloud. Also, we, we talked about your future architecture. Do you like to walk us through your future architecture and see what other improvement you're considering on implementing on your solution? So in terms of our future architecture, um, we're working on moving uh, all of our workloads over to OCI. So in terms of what this would mean as far as services that we are looking to use, we're looking to move our email service over to the Oracle Content Management Catch-Up service. Uh, for uh, taking invoice-based data from uh, suppliers as they email it in. And we're looking to um, start to use the new uh, OCI vision service for extracting invoice-based data. And once we complete those two items, uh, we'll be able to move our solution uh, and have Easy Cloud up and running 100% in the, on the OCI platform. So how do you look like in your future state, all your services will be in OCI? How is that going to help you maintain and uh, scale your business? So one of the main um, benefits of having everything in OCI is we're already using the Oracle Content Management System for invoice storage for our backend data. 
it seems like a natural evolution of EC Cloud to go ahead and also use the uh, capture feature. Um, the next piece would be the, uh, the OCI vision service. So the OCI vision service, um, in our current architecture, we are making calls back out to AWS for the extraction. In this case, there's an extra step. There's also the worry of latency. So using that OCI vision service and keeping everything within Oracle Cloud seems to be like the natural evolution. Thank you all for tuning in today and stay tuned for more technical discussion with OCI customers.